Hey guys, so today we're here with Tyler, who just finished off the Toronto Regionals as top 16, uh, X2. Uh, we're just doing a quick deck profile here. Uh, he was playing uh, Katatur Katakuri there. Uh, so let's uh, let's get started. Perfect. Starting off pretty easy. Uh, playing Floor of the Pudding. Just a searcher, kind of mandatory. He's good. No real other searcher you can play. Then four of the Nami, just replacing Thunderbolt. She's good banish trigger on uh, really anything. Um, Cracker double attack is really good with her. Leader 7K banish is always good. Next for the three, we're running the Parasparo at four of. He's a really good body to play. He searches your deck. For the two Ks, we're running Charlotte Amand. Um, I don't find myself playing her all that often. Um, but you can if there's ever like a troublesome two blocker or a two cost blocker that you need to get rid of. Um, speaking of blockers, play four Brule, just the perfect trigger blocker. No cards out of hand. Um, saved me a, quite a few times actually in the event. Nice. At a four of. Ah, uh, the dreaded beige. Four of beige. He's a staple. You gotta play him. Um, there's nothing you can really take out for this slot. It's just kind of perfect. I play four of Cracker as well. Um, especially with Yamato in the meta now, I find myself going down lower than her very often. So you get his double attack off more often than not, especially paired with the Onami. Uh, double attack banish is, is pretty terrifying against any of the yellow decks, anything with high trigger in it. Uh, more blockers. Uh, the Sanji out of four of. Uh, just like the Brulee comes out of life, blockers up for you. It is a card out of hand, but eh, it's hard to remove. Uh, play three of the Kiku Nojo. Um, free trigger of life if there are three or less. 6k body is always good. And the biggest thing is after you've hit them a bunch, you get to heal if they're at three. Nice. Uh, adding more triggers to my life. Um, that's kind of my home game plan is trigger out and win the game. Playing the uh, the Bubble Boy Satori. Uh, there you go. Four of. In the clouds. Excellent 2K. Uh, trigger, play one if you just want that 5K body on the field. Then getting into the big moms. I play three of the seven drop. Um, she's good, especially if you're on first curve. You can play at seven dawn turn, play at nine drop turn. Um, yeah. She's, she's all right. I don't play her at four because I don't feel like she's as strong as the 10 drop. And there are times where you can play her on a, on a field and it just doesn't do anything for you. Okay. Like, oh, they, they take their life. Or even if you gain that life in that sense, you're not really gaining any kind of board state advantage. Um, and then finishing off the characters, playing the 10 drop mom. Uh, four of staple. There's no reason not to play it. it. They lose a life. You gain a life. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, only playing two of the you're the one who should disappear event just in case I get kind of bricked up with the counterless cards in my hand and if I see it in life uh, it's an excellent trigger um, of course it has to be the last card that you see but you can manipulate that with your leader uh, pretty easily last two cards in the deck uh, 200 million volt Amaru uh, I just play two of it's a good card having life trash two but it's an even better card to win you the game if you're uh, needing to tap down that blocker and push for that last swing. All right, and that's it. Sounds pretty cool. I didn't see any uh, Katakuris or I didn't see any Gadatsu. Is there a reason you didn't want to play those? Yeah, so Katakuri in general, I find is very hard to play in this meta. Um, removing something off of their field for eight cost is pretty good, but it going to life kind of stalls the game out longer than I want it to. Um, on top of that, there's not really many things I want to hit with it. Like, I don't want to give them the playability of another um, like seven drop uh, Luffy in Yuta or uh, what is it the uh, yeah it's, it's just tough it's just tough for me it's hard to play you yeah. gotta play the triggers and everything yeah you know? the Gadatsu the Gadatsu I thought about putting in for a while um, uh, yellow doesn't have that many that much removal um, but again I kind of sided with the as many triggers as I can as many bodies uh, coming out of my life as I can and I'll just like swing them down if I need to remove a card, I'll just trigger something out of life and swing at it with like a Parasparrow with a couple Dawn or, or something like that. 
Okay. Yeah. How's the how's the mirror match against someone who doesn't play this uh, Zach decklist? So the mirror match with this decklist, I find if you go first, uh, you have a significant advantage in most matchups uh, for the mirror in Katakuri. If you go first, you're, you're looking at a good time. Um, but this specifically, because they're hitting my life so much, even if they're organizing it, they're gonna see a lot more triggers than they're used to, and uh, I feel like it tilts the enemy player a lot more to see like five triggers in my life 100% if, tells me even if they're not like the best triggers it's like oh again this guy got another one so they, they think they think i'm uh getting so luckier. lucky too lucky yeah, getting yeah. luckier than i should be but most of the deck that. is trigger yeah sounds good so uh what about into other metas uh i was at the regionals also i noticed there were a lot of gecko morias how, how is this going into gecko uh, so in my matchups, I beat both geckos that I played against. Uh, nice. They were closer games. Um, as that matchup, I feel is 50-50, uh, no matter what kind of list you're going with in either. Fair enough. Um, my hardest matchup, I think, is probably either Reiju or Yamato. Okay. Yamato just swings so hard so quickly, and even if I do get good triggers, it's not um, it's not perfect in any sense because they're just swinging so hard. Especially with the Onami double attack banish, uh, is tough to get around. Sure. Is it is this all about 50-50 into those uh, matchups also? Yeah, I feel like Yamato has a slight edge on me in that uh, matchup, but uh, in uh, Reiju, anyways, I think it's it's pretty close to 50 50 if they see like all four etgs it's pretty doomed on my side so they're just gonna be rushing me down minusing my blockers and it, it's gonna be a tough time okay well, how about sakazuki sakazuki is is a very easy uh match i played three of them in the tournament i believe and uh none of the games were it's, close it's, uh, it's hard enough for them yeah. eh? all right it's very hard they try to stall me down but i like i trigger so much and i play so much that even if they, if they reduce and delete my board it doesn't really do anything because I'm getting so much more out of my life yeah, on you're... top of being able to play the 10 drop big mom. Yeah, you're and... delaying it out for the big boys. Yeah. Okay, big mom actually. <laughs> yeah. All right, what, what else? What else? Uh, what's what's the weakness against this then? The weakness. Um, well, what's anything... your dreaded matchup? Anything that's fast. Anything that can get... Can Zoro, uh, can Zoro cook against yeah. you? Yeah, Zoro is tough sometimes. Uh, I played an ace in the tournament. He almost got me. Um, anything that's very fast, very aggressive um and can blow up my uh like ace blew up my seven drop twice yeah um and it's just tough because they're hitting you with a double attack 8k or 9k uh after blowing up your body on board hopefully you don't see too much of that in, yeah. in uh, high-end regionals yeah. all right so. but anything that's fast anything that can get off the ground going get their engine running quickly is, is tough for me all right sounds good yeah. thank you for sharing your uh, deck profile there was, was there anything that you're considering changing for future events Right now, no, the list is pretty solid. Pretty um, solid. There was nothing that I hit that I was like, oh, I wish this would, did, did a little differently. My games were very well. The two games that I did lose came down just to the wire. Um, the one I was in a mirror and he triggered beige last life and there's nothing you can do there. And the other one, he just had the 2K counter that he needed. Fair enough. Okay, yeah. one more question. Since I am currently playing green Uta, how does Uta fare up? Because I know that uh, Katakuri is a slight underdog when it comes to Uta just because the butt the board gets flooded so hard. Yeah. So Uda goes wide fast, which is a problem. And their their draw consistency, they have a lot of uh, counter in hand. Um, it is a tougher matchup for sure. Um, it's, I think it's, close I have, though. it's close though. Yeah, I think I have the losing percentile in that, but I think it's still like 48 percent right. uh, in Katakuri's uh, area there. All right. If you guys uh, like this deck profile and you want to see uh, him cook me uh, against Uta here with me with the slight edge, we'll, we'll definitely post some uh, game footage in the future there. Just hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you again. And congratulations on top 16. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you.